Here we have a polynomial divided by x plus 2. So let's get right to it. 2x cubed. Now here's the trick, the first trick. You got to save a seat for the x squared term, kind of like a favorite aunt um, on your Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, you got to save a seat, even though she is not there. You got to save the seat for the squared term. And then x plus 2 over here. There's two parts over here, so I'm going to draw a little line over here, remind myself I needed two parts. And now I'm going to poke a hole here to my chimney here. Okay, this is my house. And then um, I'm going to put a box over here. So that's the first term I'll put. The term I'm going to put in here is going to match this term identically, because I'm going to have 2x squared over there. 2x squared times this one, I have 2x cubed plus 4x squared. Okay, now Here's the little tricky part. We're doing the division. Division is really about subtraction. So when I subtract this whole thing, I can move the subtraction inside. So this becomes negative, this becomes negative, and the whole thing I can add. Okay, from there, uh, after I do this, when I add those, those two goes away, and I have a minus 4x squared. Okay, this one comes right down, minus 4x. Okay, next box I'm going to put in here. I'm going to match this term now. In order to match this term, I need a minus 4x. Okay, so minus 4x times this one, I have minus 4x squared minus 8x. Okay, now remember we're going to minus this whole thing again. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to distribute this minus sign inside. So I'm going to change the sign. This one become a plus, this one become a plus, and overall I'm going to add. Okay. Now those two goes away, I have a plus 4x. This 3 comes down here, plus 3. Okay, let me add last term over here. All I have to do is match the 4x, and then 4 goes in there. Okay. 4 times x plus 2, I have a 4x plus 8. Now remember again, I'm doing the subtraction for the whole thing, right? So I'm going to distribute the minus sign inside it, so this one becomes a negative. This one becomes negative as well. Then I'm going to add. Okay. So those two goes away. I have a minus 5 as my remainder. Okay. So here's the whole uh, answer. This whole thing is equal to, let's put our answer over here, 2x squared okay, plus minus here gets simplified into a minus. 4x plus 4 with a remainder of 5, which how we write it is x plus 2 as a fraction part. Alright, hope this helps and have a confident day.